Hello and welcome to Swan Racing TV. This is uh, episode two of the um, track day car preparation selection video series. Um, so today I'm talking about what you're going to need to do to your car to ensure you have a happy time at your track day. Uh, basically this one is about servicing. You want to do a basic service on your car so that includes oil, oil filter, spark plugs, air filter, uh, checking your tyres over they're in good condition, checking wiper blades, uh, everything really that would be on an MOT. So you want to have good good wipers in case it pisses down with rain, you don't want to uh, find yourself struggling to see. Good tyres, whether that means you've got to get new tyres or just make sure you've got plenty of tread and life left in those tyres. Sticky soft tyres will be uh, a bonus. In the case of the Focus we bought some Michelin Pilot Sport 4s which I highly recommend, they are a really good tyre. They're so durable, they're great on the road, great, reasonably good in the wet, fantastic in the dry and um, they're fantastic on track as well. They uh, take the pound in lap after lap after lap so I'd really recommend Michelin Pilot Super Sports. Um, brake pads, now again, you could use standard pads as long as there's plenty of life left in them and the discs are in good nick, but uh, really you do run the risk of pad uh, fade, so I would recommend you upgrade those pads. And again, in the case of the Focus, we've put in some yellow stuff, EBC yellow stuff pads, which uh, seem to do the do. They're a good all round pad. They're not the best in the world. They're not. Um, you know, you're not going to set out and out lap records with them, but they do provide a good balance of value and performance. They will take punishment lap after lap, however they just don't give you that ultimate braking which uh, you can get with a, a more race orientated pad. But you know, they, they're alright, they'll do. They're a reasonable price as well, so that's something to consider if you're going to get through quite a few sets of pads. Um, Next up, I'd say flush the brake fluid through. Again, with a decent quality uh, brake fluid. If you've got to go for a branded mod, uh, branded, go for branded. You, you know, you know, you're going to get quality. Then you don't want uh, to scrimp on stuff like that because we will, or you do, you will potentially boil the brake fluid. I have had that before, uh, boiling brake fluid, and um, yeah, pad fade. So definitely cover the brakes off. You don't necessarily need to get up upgraded brakes make sure what you've got is in good condition and, uh, and well serviced and working properly. Um, so yeah, then oil. Make sure your oil filter and oil is replaced. Uh, go for quality again. It's, you know, it's 50, 60 quid for a bottle of oil, but that is essential. You definitely don't want a uh, big end failure due to your oil breaking down. So in the case of the Focus and all my other race cars for that matter, I use uh, Mobile One Motorsport Edition. Uh, motorsport formula it's uh, you know it's never let me down when we first started racing we went through all sorts of different oils and um, you know we had quite a few engine failures in that first sort of six months of racing and then eventually settled on uh, mobile one and never had any issues since then so uh, always great oil pressure from, from cold right up to you know high temperatures so it's definitely highly recommended um, so yeah then spark plugs again could replace with good condition uh, you know, new plugs so you, you know your plugs are in good condition however you know I would recommend again an iridium perhaps a, an iridium plug uh, it's just the durability is higher it's going to perform under the strenuous conditions that you're going to find the, the engine uh, put under on your, on your track day so yeah like I say iridium plugs and uh, you'll, you'll be fine and then um, the rest of it is, yeah, it's just basically checking over. So wash your bottle, is it full? You know, plenty of fluid in there? Yes. Coolant, is it full? You know, is it on the on the correct level? And you could even flush that through, flush the rad through, put some fresh coolant in there to make sure that you're not going to have any overheating issues. Uh, wiper blades, check them over, make sure the wipers are working properly. Again, if you have a wet day, you don't want to be struggling to see because you've got uh, poor condition um, wiper blades. Um, so yeah, I mean, like I say, just give your car a, a general check over, make sure it's in good condition. Should really be uh, MOTable. Some people trailer their vehicle to the, to the track, 
but you know, a good rule of thumb is if you make sure your car is uh, in the condition where you'd, you'd expect it to pass an MOT, you probably won't be far wrong. Um, so yeah, that's just a brief, uh, brief chat about what you need to do to your car and uh, you won't have any issues then on the day, which is uh, what we want. We don't want to be getting to a track day and having you know, uh, bad times because things have, things have gone wrong, you know, you're standing around, you're downtime, you're struggling. Um, another, a later episode we'll talk about what spares you need, to, you should take with you, what's a good idea to have, have in your van um, or in your car because uh, yeah, we, lots of things crop up on a, on a day of uh, punishing your car around a track. Lots of things crop up that you wouldn't expect really and uh, it's good to have a box of everything where you can, you can just open up, have a look through clips, you know, hose clips, you know, any, all sorts of sizes, bits and pieces, self-tappers, zip ties, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, make sure uh, you tune in for that one because I'll go through all of that, go through what equipment, what clothing, clothing race, race wear you should have, uh, what's a good idea to have, all that sort of stuff come up on uh, on future episodes. So uh, all that remains to say is thanks for tuning in, like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, see you out on track.